should start this by a little bit of a backstory because this morning was crazy. <laughs> so prayers were at 6 a.m. So we set our alarms for 5.30 a.m. It would give us enough time to wake up, get a little ready, to go to prayers, and then to go to breakfast right after. See, we had a bit of a problem. It was freezing cold. So we kept contemplating whether we were gonna go or not. We didn't wanna leave our cozy, warm beds. Eventually, we decided to go for the experience. Problem was, we decided a little too late. We had less than 10 minutes to wash up, get ready, and go down to prayers. So you can imagine we were kind of in a crunch in the middle of just applying some makeup so I don't look dead to the world. They started to ring the bell, meaning prayers was about to start. We panicked. Going to use a Harry Potter reference, but we ran so fast through the hallways like Harry and Ron did when they were late for class. And those slippers are so slippery that it was ridiculous. Trying to run in them, I was slipping, I was sliding, they kept falling off. I almost fell down the stairs. At this point, Jess left me behind. Yeah, what a friend. On approaching the prayer room, the female monk outside saw me and she started smiling. She had to have seen me struggling trying to get there. And she came up, held me by the arm, try and help me get there, but my slippers just kept falling off. And there was just no other choice. She was gonna have to push me to the door. The monks got me to the door, they took my slippers off while I crawled in, and they shut the door right behind me. I felt like everyone was watching me because I was the last person to get into the room. But overall, I was just so relieved I got there and I didn't miss anything. Also, they had heating mats on the floor, so it was cozy and warm the whole time. Now, they didn't allow us to take video or photo inside of the prayer room, but I was able to find on Google and on Instagram photos to show you. At this point, we were just walking back to our room after breakfast and I was recounting to her what had happened with the monk in the morning. They slip. I almost bust my bum bum this morning running on the stairs. And it was She was like, my shoe fell off and I was like, The monk, the lady, mm -hmm. she was like, she, as we were running, she was just like, and I'm like, Now this specific bathroom is located on the other side of this floor, but it was the one that was designated for women only. The other one that was near our room, that would have been more convenient, but it was a unisex bathroom, so male or female can use it, and I just kind of felt uncomfortable. If you're wondering where the showers are, they are actually on the first floor near the entrance area, and those are separated by gender, so there's not a unisex one. Overall, this temple stay was one of a kind. It's definitely an experience to have. Now we're off to find a little cafe because the tea at breakfast just wasn't enough for us. And the only thing that seemed to be open was this little shop that we found. Sorry I didn't get a picture of the outside, but here's a Google picture of it. The aesthetic of this place is to die for. It is just amazing. Definitely picture worthy. I just have to say, this is one of the best chai tea lattes I've ever had. The flavor isn't too overbearing, and it's sweetened just right.
I have a problem. <laughs> I found the banana one. <laughs> this is our hers too. I have a problem. A very, very big problem. <laughs> I'm not afraid to admit it. We wear we do turns. No way. Okay. <laughs> need help opening your egg, they'll help you. And you can order more. Yeah, like in case you want. Even though you place your order in the machines in the front and you have your tickets, if at any time during your meal you decide you want some more broth, noodles, meat, etc., you can easily take this paper and fill out the form of what you want, put the amount that's due, and ring the bell. They'll come over, they'll collect the slip with the money, and they'll give you what you want.
keep it. I don't need this part. Definitely one of my most favorite things in Japan is shopping in all the anime shops. It's my addiction and I'm not afraid to admit it. Japan definitely put a hole in my bank account. We've been up way too early for our own good, so it's a much needed coffee break. A lot of the stores in Japan had signs of no recording. So it was kind of annoying. I try to record some things, but I'm just not one to break the law. Sorry. Do you have a problem? Yes. A big problem? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The day was definitely successful. We got many things done, we saw many things, and definitely we purchased many things. So here I'll show you a couple of the stuff that I got, but it's definitely not as much as what I'm gonna be getting in the next days to come. Funny story about this boo, Jess disappeared, she left me, so I waited for her and I decided to play the machine and I won him. One try, one dollar, my one lucky shot. <laughs> I was only a little freaked out because yes I wanted the boo, but he's huge. Where was I going to put him in my luggage? <laughs> 